Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and we're going to talk about decision making under risk. When we make decisions under risk, we're talking about EMV or expected monetary value. And making decisions under risk occurs when the future is still uncertain. In other words, we don't know which state of nature is going to occur, but we have been able to find the probability of each state of nature occurring. Remember that our states of nature are independent and mutually exclusive, so only one can exist. And the sum of the probabilities of all possible states of nature has to equal 1 or 100 percent. So I'm going to use the EMV or expected monetary value criterion to decide what size hot dog cart I should open here on the Outer Banks. I have my three alternatives. I can have a small, medium, or large cart, and I have three states of nature. Tourist traffic is either going to be lower, the same, or higher than last year. I've created my payoff table with my three states of nature and my three decision alternatives, and I have a payoff associated with every decision alternative under every possible state of nature. So when we look at this strategy of EMV, or expected monetary value, we have to remember that this is based on a long run average. In other words, if we could make this decision an infinite number of times, in the long run, we would realize the expected monetary value, or EMV, for each decision alternative. The way that we're going to evaluate our alternatives based on this EMV is I'm going to calculate an EMV of each decision alternative, and I'm going to do that by multiplying the probability of each state of nature by the decision alternative's associated payoff. I'm going to sum those products across all states of nature for each decision alternative, and that's going to produce an expected monetary value for each decision alternative. I'm going to then compare my expected monetary values for my decision alternative, and I'm always going to select the alternative with the highest expected monetary value, or EMV. So what I have now is I have each of my states of nature but I now have a probability associated with each one. So there's a pretty, there's a 30 percent chance that tourist traffic will be lower than last year. So 50 percent chance it will be the same. There'll be a 20 percent chance that it's higher. So what I do is I take my payoff under that state of nature and I weigh my payoff times the probability of that state of nature occurring to come to this product. So I take the payoff for a medium cart times the 30 percent probability of low tourist traffic to come up with my product. And so for my large cart, I take my expected payoff times the probability of that state of nature occurring, and I come up with, with this. And I'm going to do this all the way across. So I'm going to take my 175 times the 50 percent chance of tourist traffic being the same, take my negative $25 and I'm going to multiply it by my probability of 20 percent that tourist traffic is higher. And I'm going to do that across all of my decision alternatives for all of my states of nature. And what I'm after are these products, because the sum of these products across my decision alternatives is going to give me my expected monetary value. So what does that give me? So these are my products from my previous um, table, and I'm simply going to sum all of those products to come up with my EMV. So this represents um, small cart, low tourist traffic, small cart, the same tourist traffic, small cart, higher tourist traffic. So I've gone through and I've gotten all of my, my products and I'm going to sum them and my decision 
my decision is going to be simple. I'm going to select the one with the highest expected monetary value and that's going to be the small cart because what I know in the long run it will return me the highest expected or weighted average payoff. I hope this helped. Have a great day.